So the first question is, do you wish you and your baby daddy was together and are y'all on good terms? <laughs> oh, parent with your child's father. Is being a single parent hard? How did we meet? So, um, crazy or not, y'all, I met Deja through Trey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Deja. You make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram, all that. Y'all, this is y'all first time meeting Deja. Y'all never met her, but this is my best friend. And this is like our first video that we doing together. So. I know, right? I'm so excited. Right, I'm super excited for this. And y'all know I don't do mukbangs. Like, this is my first time doing a mukbang on my actual channel. But today we just gonna be doing like a Q&A, kind of like a girl talk video. Um, I posted on Instagram for my supporters to like ask different type of questions, like mommy advice or anything, because Deja does have a daughter. Yes, my daughter is one year old, one years old. Her name is Nayeli. So, you know, we got some stuff in common and we could, I feel like y'all asked some really good questions. Exactly. So, um, I screen recorded the questions and sent them to Deja because I'm using my phone, y'all. I told y'all I had ordered it. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I had ordered a camera, but it just now came in the mail later on. So I'm using my phone right now, but okay, cool. So, okay. So the first question is, and y'all, I got some shrimp and the boom boom sauce. Deja, you gotta try the boom boom sauce. It's so good. You might like it, but. I never had it before. Oh, and we got food from Juicy Crab. We didn't even say that. Yeah, we didn't even show y'all. So let me show y'all my bag. Hold up. I'm just ready to eat cause I'm so hungry. I just got shrimp in here. It's some good. eggs in here, some corn. I didn't get no crab legs this time. I wasn't really in the mood for that. But, um, all right, bro, let's get this question. Okay. So the first question is, do you wish you and your baby daddy was together and are y'all on good terms? <laughs> oh, y'all see? <laughs> we started, <laughs> wait, we started wait, off. Wait, hey, hey, you started off like that, okay. This is the first question. My um Instagram followers, some of y'all are messy. Let me show y'all the actual questions so y'all don't think we just making this shit up. Cause like these are the questions. <laughs> I'll be having to show them because they be thinking like, you know, I'm making this shit up or something like that. Okay, cool. So um right on with it. Who gonna answer first? You gonna go first? You go ahead. Today, you why go ahead. First? You go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, what was the question again? Do you read it again? Do you wish you and your baby daddy was together and are y'all on good terms? <laughs> okay. Um, do I wish me and my baby daddy was together? I say no because for one, we broke up for a reason and that relationship is completely old. The shit was toxic and too much shit happened between us to the point where like we would never be nothing. So no, I don't wish we were together. Are we cool? I mean, when it comes down to Riley, like, you know, I do co-parenting, like I'll text him some stuff about Riley, but I really don't talk to him like that. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna like say too much cause <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, your turn. Okay, so no, I do not wish me and my baby daddy was together. Kind of same thing she said. We broke up for a reason. Um, yeah, and that's just that's just not meant for us. I don't see it happening in the future. So no. Um, exactly. Are we on good terms? We on speakable terms. Like we speak. Hey, um, she has an appointment, or I'll send him pictures or whatever. But that's pretty much it. Right, nothing more, nothing less. So, that co is not easy. Okay, next. next question, how are you mentally? I feel like mentally I'm in a good space. I don't know, sometimes I have my days to where I just like, oh my gosh, I just need a break from social media. I just need a break because sometimes social media can be toxic. Like, I feel like sometimes it's hard being a social media influencer yeah. because it's so toxic. Like, with the comments, it's just, like, too much with y'all trying to keep up with our personal life. Like, even though I know we put out our personal life, but sometimes y'all try to dig in too deep and try to make shit more and than what it is. be thinking like, y'all know something. That'd be that for exactly. me. Exactly. So, sometimes I feel like, damn, I really need to take a mental break from social media. But then I'd be like, damn, like, no, nah, I can't even just do that because, like, you know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but, yeah, mentally, I feel like, you know. Up and down. I feel like my mental health could be better, but you know, I'm working on it. Um, mentally, I'm there. Um, I'm right. I'm supposed to be right now on a little self journey trying to figure out, you know, we got high girl summer coming up mm. too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm preparing for that, but no, mentally right. I'm doing I'm doing fine, but I'm also trying to juggle being a mom, a hot girl, 
I'm trying to work, be man, a YouTuber, what? be a TikToker. Man, what? I got mm -hmm. school. Oh, man. Okay. I'm trying to do a lot at one time. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. Right. Okay, so what else? Um, Shout out to my parents. How to co-parent with your child's father? Um, when it comes to like co-parenting, I mean, it's not really much to say. Like, only speak in regards to your daughter or your son. Like, if your son is over there, you know, you could text to check up on him or her. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't really know how to answer that question because, like, it's not really much you have to do. It really depends on like the situation that y'all got going on, though. Like, to be honest, I feel like co-parenting is hard when both people still have feelings for each other or one person is not over the other because it's oh, automatically yeah. going to have feelings involved or you're going to feel some type of way about something but at the end of the day it's not your feelings it's like when it's strict like it's easier to strictly co-parent to, exactly. to oh i'm trying to work back being cool with you just cordial like it's kind of hard to try to juggle all of that at once exactly but i mean i just say do as much as you can because at the end of the day, outside of relationship or the past or whatever has going on, y'all have a child together, so you got to do whatever is best for the child. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's easy to do because in some situations, you may be upset to where a situation happened like, I want to block you, but it's like, I can't even block you because, you know, I care enough about my child to not exactly. to have keep contact with you and to have that with you. So, I mean, yeah. it depends on everybody's situation. Yeah, so really with co-parent, like, it comes to the point where, like, y'all got to put y'all feelings aside like regardless how the fuck you feel about me regardless how the fuck i feel about yeah. you at the end of the day we have a child so it's like you can't even just beef with me forever yeah like eventually we're gonna have to be cool like you cannot beef with me forever and it's just sad like you just gotta be like that so yeah i don't know that's how i just feel about co-parenting and then but. i feel like too that once again it can't have feelings and it takes time because you know like you break up you know you go through that mm -hmm. and it's like in the beginning it ain't gonna be that easy to just oh yeah this is how we gonna do it because you still gonna have your other feelings but once you get to that point so we strictly doing it like this then it's easier exactly it's way easier so once all the feelings gone y'all gonna be straight like y'all can be like besties for real like <laughs> but okay mm -hmm. um let's see this is good y'all it <laughs> is am i hungry ass okay somebody said dang it was one. okay how to walk away when you know somebody isn't good for you um mm -hmm. How to walk away. I say really pretty much know your self-worth. Like, but then again, in certain situations, it'd be hard to just say fuck it and just let that shit go. But I learned like, if a person is not treating you the way you're supposed to be treated, then just let that shit go. Because if you keep just holding on, then that shit is just gonna get worse and worse. And somebody is only gonna change if they wanna change. So yeah. I say just walk away, shit. <laughs> I mean, so she I she answered the question real well. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's not really much that you could, you know, do. I know some people probably look for more physical things. And I know it's certain stuff that they say, like, oh, um, figure out a new hobby. Do stuff like that. Yeah. I honestly say try to distract yourself from it. Sorry. I say try to distract yourself from whatever that it is. At least, you know, whatever the case may be, find something new to do to distract yourself from not talking to that person. If exactly. you're talking to a new person, then do that. But yeah. do what you gotta do. I feel like that's honestly the best way. Like, to get over somebody, just talk to somebody new. <laughs> I know that's probably not good advice, but I'm sorry. Yeah, it's that's what I was like, too. Yeah, that shit worked. Like, I'm telling you, it worked for real. But, um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Next question. Um, what products do you use for your face? Um, I use these Noxzema wipes. I just started using Well, I didn't just start using them. I've been using them for a long time. You know what Noxzema wipes is? They work mm -hmm. really good to me, but some people say, like, it's too strong for their face. But I use that and just water. I feel like piling your face with all them extra skincare products is not good for you. Like, mm-mm. At all. It is so good. Or, you know, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use anything specific for, like, skincare products, Asia? Um... Yeah, I do because I've been having to wear makeup a lot for videos and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I know one thing that really keeps my face clear is African black soap. Have you ever used oh, it? Oh, yeah. I've never tried it though, but I heard it. No, I use that and that, it's the truth. Like, your skin it work? really, yeah, it be feeling mm -hmm. in it. It will clear your skin up because I was on birth control at one point in time and it had mm -hmm. brought my face out bad. And I was using Noxema. I was using a little bit of everything. But the black soap is the only thing that worked. And that's really it. Like, when you, people say you have a skincare routine, but I feel like when you do the, moisturizing the toner you kind of doing too much to where it's not giving enough whatever product you use at first to sit in your face okay yeah i get what you're saying 
I should try that out then, black African stuff. I always hear that, like, it's good. But you gotta get the real one, like, the one at the beauty supply store. Is it the one at Target, like, the real one? Or not? Mm -mm. Like, you gotta go to, like, know somebody that African. Oh, that they okay, make it, like, see. You can't be I don't out think I had the store. real one. You gotta get the real one. The real one works. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Next question. Is being a single parent hard? Mm. Okay, so this is what I always wondered. What do y'all consider a single parent? Is a single mom basically somebody who's not in a relationship with their baby daddy? Or is a single mom somebody who does, like, everything on their own? They don't got no help or, like... Because I'd be kind of, like, yeah, like, confused with that question. Um, I don't know. Because I don't look at myself as a single mom, but I do. I, I have my daughter 24-7. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a single mom because her, her dad not a deadbeat. Like, okay, yeah, you know, like, like her dad does what he's supposed to do in certain ways so it's not uh -huh. like oh he's a deadbeat or anything so i consider myself a single mom because y'all get what i'm trying to say yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm confused. okay so if y'all look at a single mom as somebody who is not in a relationship with their child's father but the child's father is in their life like for an example if i have to go somewhere then you know i would hit up riley's dad like hey can you watch riley okay cool he'll come through so I mean, if y'all saying it's hard, like, in regards to, like, being with the child every day, maybe that's what they mean. I don't, y'all, I'd be so confused with that question. I don't know. Like, um, I really don't know. If that's the case, I feel like it depends on what type of person you are. Me, like, I was explaining this to Anisha before. Yeah. If, you know, you go out, you go out every weekend, you go out often. Of course, it may be a little bit harder for you because you got to be able to adjust to that and move around. But me, mm -hmm. I sit, I be at home most of the time, so... I don't really have to worry about too much more. I, But overall, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The hardest thing about being a parent is co-parenting with the other parent. Like, yeah, you know, they wake up in the middle of the night. All the, no, it's the baby daddy. Like That's the hardest thing. Funny. I swear about, like, you know, co like being a single mom is like, y'all not together no more. So it's like, it's kind of toxic. I feel like that's the hardest part about being a single, single mom, like getting along with the child's father. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. But that's the I don't want to use the word stuck because a lot of baby mama, baby daddy situations, they feel stuck. Mm -hmm. But if you're one of those parents that care about your child and having that fatherly bond and motherly bond, right. you know, of course, you're going to try to do whatever to make sure that your child have that. So that's where it comes stressful because there's some baby mamas that be like, no, I'm blocking him and he ain't going to see my child for two weeks. I wouldn't do nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, that's like a better baby mama. So it's like, no, like, mm -hmm. that's when the, it's like, I don't do that. Yeah, exactly. One thing about me, I'm not no bitter baby mom. You can Period. get your child whenever the fuck you want. Because, no, nah, I don't do shit like that. So, I say it's not really hard. It really depends on, like, you and your situation. So, that's what it typically depends on. Okay, y'all. So, next question is, how did we meet? So, crazy or not, y'all, I met Deja through Trey. And y'all know Trey, my ex, the one who I be filming with on my channel. And that's how we met, because Deja used to be, like, Trey's little bestie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they used to be best friends or whatever. I mean, me and Trey was hanging out, and then she was just there, so. That's how we met or whatever. Um, This food is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so distracted because it's so good. <laughs> no, for real. But, yeah, that's how we met, and, you know, we've been cool ever since. Mm-hmm. Our next question is, how do you stay motivated? Oh, I'm going to answer this one. Okay. Um, I feel like my daughter motivates me in a lot of different ways. Um, I graduated college and all that, but I feel like, you know, I was going to do it because I'm, I'm not going to be no bum. Right. But, like, that's what gave me that push to, you know, keep going every, like, all the time. When you a mom, you, it's like, it's a different motivation. You're not living for yourself. Exactly. Like, you're living for yourself, but... You know, you got to think about your child in every instant. So I feel like definitely having a child motivates you in ways that you wouldn't even know that you had if you didn't have that person. Because, you know, you got to be that person for them and be there for them. Especially if you care, you know, about having that. Exactly. Bond with that like, person. You know, now you got somebody depending on you. So yeah. it's like you got to go harder. Like mm -hmm. you don't just got to take care of yourself. Now you got a whole nother human that you got to raise. All the way up until they 18 and even beyond that. Yeah, bro, for you know, real. They always going to need you regardless of how old they is. So. That when you is a true. mom, and when you a mom, you ain't just no mom. You a mom, you a doctor, you a friend, you the psychiatrist. Man, what? You the everything, so it's no a, breaks. Like, yeah. You yeah. a lawyer, you everything. <laughs> so it's really no breaks. So, yeah, I feel like that's the number one motivation. Like, 
you got somebody to go hard for, like, regardless. Okay, y'all, so we're going to answer a few more questions. Um, Let's see. Okay. Some of y'all was commenting shit that's not even questions. I should use the screen record. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's a screen record. Okay. Uh, finishing my last. Okay, so when is it? Okay, this is a good, good question. Okay, when is it time to start dating again? I'm scared to date and get hurt again. Plus, I'm a mom. My baby just turned one. I feel like it'll be okay to give it a try since he's one. Okay, so basically the sum of her questions, he's asking like, after you have a baby, when is it, when is it a good time to start dating again? Um, I personally say like, there really isn't a time limit. But then again, it is kind of like once you're like beyond over your child's father, like no strings attached, then I feel like it's not a right or wrong time when you should move on. Like if you come across somebody who's treating you right and treating you in a way that you want it to be treated, then I feel like, I don't know. Don't let not, it hold you back. Yeah, don't let it hold you back just because you have a child. But then again, like dating life and child can be kind of like a mix because, you know, like obviously I wouldn't just want my daughter around like any nigga that I'm just now dating. So. Mm -hmm. And like comes to like an extent, I feel like it's not really a time limit on it. It's just like whenever you're comfortable and feel like you're ready. But like you said, your child is one. So what you think? I she feel like our child is one. I don't want to say when you're ready, but really when you're ready because you have to go through stuff that you deal with as a mom first. Like people go through postpartum. Don't be going through postpartum stressed out and hair falling out and then trying to fix it in a, by getting into a relationship because you have to work on you and yourself as a person before you could try to mm -hmm. be with anybody else. Because at the end of the day, you got to be that child that you're, you got to be that person that your child needs before you that uh, person that, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend type of thing. Yeah, like don't start a whole new relationship if you're still damaged. It's yeah. Basically what she's trying to say. Yeah, and that's damaged by a relationship or damage just as a person or damage from a breakup, damage everything. Like, have your shit together before you try to just go ahead and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to jump into this because it comes with a lot. Like, oh, I'm going to go date again. And honestly, I feel like, I'm not going to lie, sometimes dating as a mom is kind of hard because, like, I don't talk to a few guys and, like, you know, they just be on go, like, wanting to go out, do this, like, every day yeah. type shit. And they don't understand, like, I'm a mom, <laughs> like, Okay, cool. You trying to take me out somewhere. That's so sweet. That's cool. I fuck with it. But it's like, I have to plan my schedule in advance. Like, you can't just hit me up same day. Like, oh, let me take you out. Like, it don't work yeah. like that. So, I feel like it can be hard with dating. Like, you just got to date somebody who typically under understands, like, your situation. Because yeah. I be like, damn. Like, I can't do what I used to do before I was a mom. Like, you know, yeah. you hit me up. Let's go out. Like, it it's don't work like that. No, because you got to get ready to get a bad pad. You got to get your bad That's pad. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is like, I got to have know. a babysitter on call. Yeah. I got to do, like, all types of shit. So, it's much more harder. I'm not going to lie. Dating life is much more harder with a child. But you just got to, you know, date somebody who's mature yeah. and understands your situation. Like, and like she said, you talk to different dudes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'll be talking to different dudes, right? And what kills me is, first off, my child not meeting people I talk to. They be like, when can I meet your daughter? Nigga, no. What? <laughs> it don't work like that. I feel like that's so weird to me. I don't know why niggas be like that. Like, the only way a nigga's meeting my daughter is like we're in an actual relationship. Like, you are my boyfriend. We're dating. Like, you know, we in like a full committed relationship. But if you're a nigga I'm just fucking with, don't expect to meet my daughter like that and you that's know weird. what be killing me is they think the little compliment oh hey baby mama don't call no, me no and i'm that going be weird no. ass vibes you got to go exactly and you know what i hate like say for example like you fucking with a nigga they see you already got a baby and they try to like flirt around with you and say i'm gonna give you another one nigga that is a turn off like you are cut the fuck off like nigga no like oh run like run immediately escape <laughs> And that papa just said, y'all can single moms got trapped. No, we ran, escaped, everything else. Man, what? That shit is crazy. So, yeah, that's like dating life as a mom is kind of like, it's annoying sometimes. But then again, I have like talked to some people who like typically understand like the situation and stuff like that. It really all depends because me personally, I'm not dating a nigga that has a baby mama because... I don't do that shit. Say it again for the people in the back. I'm not dating a person that has a baby mama. <laughs> I don't care how selfish that is, how you got a whole baby yourself. I don't give a damn. Right? <laughs> We're not doing it. Because, <laughs> look, I got to give you your first kid. Like, no. And I even know. Right. It's just the drama that comes along with it, too. Like, 
I don't do that because I'm not, uh uh. I don't have time for that. Like, no. Baby. And then. I don't come with baby daddy problems, so don't bring your ass up with baby mama. Exactly. Problems. You got to fucking go. Exactly. Not sorry. coming second to no nigga. I'm sorry. Like I said, I have to give you your first child. No. But. <laughs> I'm fucking too much. I know that's kind of selfish, but I'm sorry. Like, that's just the way it is. You either fuck with it or good luck. So, um, that's pretty much the end of this video, y'all. But those were like most of the, like the most important questions. The other shit people commented was like other shit that had nothing to do with the topic. But make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe if y'all like. Oh, don't forget to go follow Deja on Instagram and on TikTok and all that good stuff. And everything is Deja to me. That's my Instagram. That's my TikTok. That's my YouTube. You know. Yep. And I'm gonna put it all on screen. And y'all can also comment like some video suggestions that y'all yes. would like to see for us to do because we definitely gonna be doing some more videos together. So make sure y'all stay in the comment section with good video suggestions. We gonna do the videos with the babies. I think oh yes, really but I, oh my god, yes, we mm -hmm. definitely gotta do that. So comment some videos we could do with our daughters and stuff like that. They're actually around the same age. Riley's about to be one next month, and Ayeli is already one. So yeah. what are they like a few months? Well. Maybe like a year apart. Five months. Five six months, months apart. So Naya was born in November. So like okay, yeah, Rod was born apart. in June. Oh okay, yeah, so they close age. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be some good videos we're gonna do together. But I'm gonna finish eating my food, y'all. But we're gonna see y'all in the next video.